Hi, thank you so much for joining me. So today I wanted to address a common issue that we have as fellow entrepreneurs and busy people all over the world. <laughs> so what happens when you don't have enough hours in the day, but you still want to work out? So here are a few tips that I can help for you to prioritize exercise in your day when it feels like you don't have enough hours in the day. So first, plan ahead. I cannot emphasize this enough. Planning ahead is, for anything in life is the key to success. So first of all, carve out time on your calendar as if it's a meeting, especially a meeting that you cannot cancel on. Have it a recurring meeting every day or three times a week on your calendar when you know that's what you're going to work out. Also, know what going to do. So half of the battle is feeling like you want to work out, but you don't know what you're going to do. So then half your time is spent thinking, hmm, what type of workouts am I going to do today? Either have a program that you know that you can just hit play, or you can spend a little bit of time over the weekend or a time or, you know, a less busy day where you can really write out what it is that you want to do, whether it's leg day, arm day, you're gonna do a cardio day, full body, whatever it is, have it on your calendar with that recurring meeting to tell yourself, okay, today is lower body day today, and then you know, so you don't have to spend five, 10 minutes of your precious time thinking about what it is that we wanna do today, because you already know, it's already in there and you can proceed saving you plenty of time. Also, find a time that works best for you. So we're all super busy every day, right? So find a time that works well with your schedule and with your energy levels. So maybe you're a morning person and maybe you wanna get up 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes earlier to fit in a workout. That's not me. <laughs> I personally love a good midday workout. So I like to take it, combining it with my lunch break. So I'll take maybe a little bit shorter of a lunch and then work out and then get back into my day. I like, it breaks up the day nicely and it just gives me a little boost of energy for the rest of the day. That's my preference. Or the people, maybe you want to do it after work and take a little bit extra time after work to get in your workout. Whatever it is, find the time that feels best for you when you have the boost of energy or when you're able to, you know, stay up a little bit later or wake up a little bit earlier or take a little bit longer of a lunch or cut your lunch shorter. It's all about being very strategic with your time and prioritizing exercise, whether you're busy or not, because the schedule is always gonna be busy there are always going to be things that pop up. It's it's the prioritizing that is going to matter the most during a busy day. And then finally, you don't have to do an hour-long workout to have a good workout. I have great news. You can work out for five to ten minutes, and it still is a an excellent and effective workout. That's right, five to ten minutes. That's it. So if you've only got maybe 10, 15 minutes, like a gap in your day, you can absolutely get in a fantastic workout in under 15 minutes, under 10 minutes. Like I said, five minutes can be a very effective workout. So it doesn't need to be this hour long gym session that you think it does. So you can keep it short and sweet and keep it very effective. So those are my tips today. I hope you found them effective. I hope that you prioritize your exercise because moving your body every single day is critical to your overall long-term health. So here's to your health, and I hope you have a happy Friday and a wonderful weekend. Thank you.